too much. But <laughs> oh well. So hi guys. I want to do something different. <laughs> Hi guys, what is wrong? It's me. Hey God. channel is your girl Chantal Boluatife Joseph Edgar don't forget the name thanks for all the support that I got from my last and my very first video thank you so much so before we get into it remember to subscribe to like to share and comment please comment this video is going to be a recap of Dirty December 2019 my Cardi B concert experience to be specific, okay? Because I don't really think there's going to be a December this year. <laughs> you know, because of everything that's going on. Shasha, disclaimer. So everybody that I'm going to talk about inside this story time, we have resolved all our issues, all our conflict and everything. We are all cool on the, on the matter and I have asked their permission to talk about the scenario about the situation and they have given me their permission so keep that in mind watching this cardi b a reason why i went for it was because of boner boy and that that is just it because the boner boy concert the regular ticket was 25k for regular what? so i found out that boner boy was on the cardi b lineup and like the lineup was looking good so i was like i'm gonna go i went with my friend Kitty and my cousin Strawberry and my brother and uh, my friend Kitty brought her own friend too. The plan was that we were all meant to meet at my house by like 12 and get ready then go. But then my other friend that was meant to be with us, she couldn't make it because she wasn't going to go for the concert so she decided to meet us at the restaurant instead. So we were like calm. That's how my friend Kitty came to the house by like 5. And by five, we were already meant to be at the restaurant. And my friend that said that she would meet us at the restaurant, she was there from three. So we got to the restaurant, like, let's say around like 5.30, like close to six. We were now about to enter the restaurant just for us to find out that the restaurant was closed since 10 a.m. for a private party. And my friend had been waiting inside her car from three to like 5 30 how many hours is that calculating your head i'm not good at math you know so it was just hectic and like she was already pissed so we decided to go to cactus instead at cactus we met our um, I, we met my friend's kitty's friend that makes sense yeah let's call her puppy <laughs> all these code names i'm not even going to remember we shall had a blast at cactus then we went to the concert first things first i have my rules for december rule number one never ever ever move alone don't do that thing that oh i'll meet you there no 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 somebody must leave the house with you at least one friend no not a sibling no a friend rule number two always carry cash 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 always number three never ever go to any concert at eco atlantic no that is a death sentence don't go those were my basic rules but i broke rule number three because I had to see Bonner Boy. The Cardi B concert was at Echo Atlantic. Once you go for any concert at Echo Atlantic, you have signed a contract stating that, okay, I'm okay if they steal my phone. I'm okay if they grow up me. I'm okay if I if I get kidnapped. That is it. I just I signed that deal just because I wanted to see Bonner Boy. So we got to Echo Atlantic, we entered the wrong concert, we entered Mary Beth. We shall got there late because the concert started early to my surprise. <laughs> we got there after like DJ Copy performed. Place was full, we shall found our way to the very, very front. So this is where everything now happened. Pattern rankings, performance. 
So but the rapper came on stage and I was vibing with him and he was vibing with me and I could see it. So I was now saying, your jacket, your jacket, give me your jacket. He was like, oh, you want my jacket? I was like, yes, give me your jacket. Now give it to the security man. Say, give it to this girl. Give it to this girl. Then the security man now went to go and throw it. Just, just threw it. And I was like directly in front of him. I was like, what's going on? Pataranki came back like towards the end of his performance. He was like, oh, I know you do not give this girl. She was like, oh, do you have a brother? Do you have a brother? Older or younger? I said, I have a brother. My older brother. So he was now removing his shoes. He was like, give it to your brother. I said, oh my God, oh my God. I was like, I was not about to like, I was about to take it. My cousin, Strawberry. She took the shoes. She grabbed the shoes and took it. I was like, What just happened? I just kept quiet because like maybe because she knows it's a big concert. Maybe I like misread what was happening. Maybe he wasn't really looking at me. And the security man was now like, okay, I'm going to take you, Strawberry, to the back to meet Patron King to confirm that he gave you the shoes, okay? So then she went over the fence. That's how everybody, everybody around there, I've never ever ever met them in my life before. They said no, that this is the girl that Patraki was talking to. And I was like, so it's not only me that saw that. Everyone's like, no, it's her. It's this girl. To the point that they even carried me and put me over the fence. I said, go and get that shoe. I was like, <laughs> you know? So now when so we're following the security guy, then out of nowhere, strawberry just ran. She just started running. And she even ran past the security man that we were meant to follow. To my surprise, she was running to Patarankin's car because he was about to enter his car. So she ran. And I now started running too. By the time I got there, he had already given the shoes to her because he didn't even get to see me. But he was like, he was dazed. Like somebody was actually carrying him. Like he couldn't walk, you know? I just, I just got angry. I just started walking back. She was calling me Chantal, Chantal. I said, no, 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 you don't do that. I went back to my position. Everybody was like, where's the shoe, where's the shoe? I said, I, I didn't get it. They were like, what? Why, what happened? My cousin, she ran. She ran and she got it, so he did not even see me. They are like, ha, ah, who's that person? I said, it's my cousin or my sister. I said, that person is not your sister. That is not your family. They're like, ah, bro, sorry. They now carried me back inside. I was like, thank you. I was so sad throughout the remaining parts of the concert. One hour later. I realized that this babe hadn't come back. It was one hour and like she hadn't come back. Five minutes before she came, like two people behind me just finished fighting like physical fights because of space. So she now came, she was not like, move back. I'm literally to the bar like this and you're telling me to move back. I just started laughing because I said, this babe can't be serious. <laughs> then all the other girls beside me were like, no, there's no space. Said, no, there's no space. She cannot come. She cannot come. I was like, guys, stop. I was like, strawberry, there's no space. There's no space. She was like, really? Really, Chantal, there's no space. I'm over exaggerating here. Really? There's no space? She was like, yeah. She just walked away. I was like, guy, fine, come. Come back. Come on. Let me come out. Let me go and meet Joseph at the back. My brother, she just walked to God knows where. Then Cardi B came out to perform. A few moments later. Then my brother now slapped me at the back of my head. Oh, 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 this girl has fitted. This girl has collapsed. Come, 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 come. Uh.